guys have you ever ever thought you could make your own candle at home more so in the microwave guys this is one of the easiest method i discovered recently and it's going to take you about 10 minutes or even less guys if you're interested stay tuned while i show you right in front of me is my five pound bag of bee wax i got on amazon and i'm going to be using two and a half cups of my wax today and i'm going to be using some lavender um, fragrance oil in my color right here fragrance blue and a measuring cup and here an old dish which i don't use anymore and it's a spoon for mixing and here's our glass which we're going to be putting in our candle and our wick as well so guys it's this easy i'm going to begin by putting in my wax two and a half cups of wax in my old dish okay and i'm going to pop in my color just like so just like so and now we're going to go ahead and pop in the microwave just like that for three minutes so at three minutes this is what our wax is looking like it's almost melted and the color is melting gradually so i'm gonna go ahead and start stirring until we get it to melt almost completely this is the part that takes the most time because we have to get the color to melt out completely so this is what our candle is looking like. Everything seems to be melted and a little bit cold. Before you put in your fragrance oil, make sure it's a little bit cold, not too hot. And so I'm going to go ahead and put in my fragrance oil, about, you know, 20 or 30 drops because I want it really strong. It's a scented candle we're making. So I want it really strong. I'm going to put enough. So when I, I, I love the smell all over the house. So guys, put as much as you want or as less as you want. Stir it in slightly. And at this juncture, I'm going to go ahead and pour in our cup. Voila. Just like that. And now I'm going to put in, I'm going to use this hook to hold the candle wick in place until it gets dry to center it, centralize it. Just like so, guys. And you want to keep it in a place where you have limited movement because you don't want no air bubbles in your candle. So you want to keep it in a cold, quiet place overnight. And once it's set to overnight, it should look like that. This is that which I did yesterday and it's set overnight. See how perfect it looks like. It has a little air bubble there, but that's alright guys. And I'm gonna light it for you all to see how it works. So voila! So guys now you have your candle and oh my gosh, now you know how to make your candle and unbelievable you can do this at home and you never need to buy candles ever again. If you so choose for the rest of you for high because you know how to make it to DIY do it yourself, guys. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. Your candle making. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tell me in the comment section if you try. Let me know how it turned out for you guys. Take care, God bless. I'll see you again soon. Bye.